Porter, it's great to see you again. I'm not going to bother to ask uh, how your weekend went. Uh, um, but I think it's safe to say with guys like this, your weekends will be a lot better in the future. So. RC, this is great. <laughs> I wasn't sure you were going to be here, and I wanted Larry to have someone to support him, so uh, I brought Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Chance that you uh, were able to get here. I brought you some moon pies for your dessert. <laughs> we all know nothing like an RC and a moon pie. <laughs> I uh, I can't believe it. it. You know, it seems like just yesterday we saw one another uh, here at the Touchdown Club, and yet. When you were last year, 9-11 was just a number you called for help. <laughs> um, of course, uh, Coach Porter, even though, uh, even though better days are to come, I felt like I should try to think of something to say to you to make you feel better right now. Uh, regretfully, making coaches feel better is really not my strong suit. <laughs> But I, uh, I did think of one. I did think of one positive. Uh, as far as I know, your team has not been penalized for excessive celebration. <laughs> well, let's let's uh, talk just quickly about what happened this weekend because I know we all want to get on to hear what Larry has to say. Uh, first of all. Um, you know, Mississippi State lost a heartbreaker to Auburn uh, as time ran out down the plains. And, and this just shows you, I think Dan Mullen has done a great job, but the critics will point out that uh, in his time at Mississippi State, State has not beaten an SEC West Division opponent that did not have a bear as their mascot. <laughs> It's good, good to have some of the old Miss folks here. <laughs> when this unemployment situation turns around, I know a lot of you may not be able to come. <laughs> How many of you, uh, of you saw what happened at the end of the Utah uh, Southern Cal game? Anybody see that? Yeah, it, as you may know, Lane Kiffin's uh, Trojans uh, were lined up uh, against uh, Utah. Utah was trying to kick a field goal that would have tied the game. They were, they were trailing by three. The kick got blocked by Southern Cal. Uh, Southern Cal defender ran the ball back uh, for what uh, everyone would thought was a touchdown, but the Southern Cal folks came pour, players came pouring out of the field, so the official threw a flag. They wiped the score off under the new uh, unsportsmanlike excessive celebration penalty. So, Everybody who bet on Utah uh, won because Utah covered the spread. Two hours later, the Pac-10, or Pac-12, uh, ruled that uh, the score counted because uh, being a flag, as time ran out, the flag was waved <coughs> off. And so everybody who bet on Southern Cal also got paid off in Vegas. <laughs> A uh, remarkable thing, there was a group of UT alum there on the junket. They're the only ones who didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> and and if, you, if you get to see that replay, watch carefully too. A second flag uh, was also thrown when one of the officials thought he saw Lane Kiffin commit two secondary recruiting violations. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia, South Carolina. I'm really, really sorry Bill's not here tonight. <laughs> for a case of the vapors or something. Uh, game was a little sloppy, but it was a great game for uh, television. I bet every black and white set in Georgia was tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for those of you who, who follow this sort of thing, Georgia is a, is a bigger media market than South Carolina. 
a recent study found uh, that there are twice as many TV sets in Georgia as Bam. in South Carolina, Bam. assuming you count both the working and non-working sets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Arkansas won its game against New Mexico State Saturday night. If they can, New Mexico, New Mexico State. Ah, oh, it is New Mexico. You're right. If they can just beat Troy this weekend, the Razorbacks will finish their preseason exhibition schedule. <laughs> uh, UT plays uh, in Florida in Gainesville this weekend. Uh, you comment about our older guys. Some of you younger folks want to, may want to talk to some of the older UT folks here. They probably can tell you about when that was a rivalry. <laughs> um, Vandy, uh, off to a uh, rare 2 0 start uh, under new coach uh, James Franklin, who will be here in two weeks. Uh, by the way, the National Weather Service is predicting lower than normal, normal temperatures in hell this winter. <laughs> Call here at the club cerebral. The joke got to hit you immediately, but eventually will. Uh, just a couple of other things. As you know, the uh, uh, the move of Texas A&M into the SEC has been held up because Baylor has threatened litigation. And fortunately, you know, I think this is one of those things they're going to settle like real men uh, in a court of law. Uh, okay, final thing. Uh, who saw Notre Dame, Michigan? Okay, yeah, I, I just asked myself, what happened to the luck of the Irish? Yeah, apparently, it, res it uh, resides in uh, Auburn, Alabama now. <laughs> but I, I tell you what, I think if, if this kind of thing continues for the 0-2 Irish, uh, we're looking at a one-term pope. <laughs> <laughs>